Ace Rockville MA with the Master of Vehicle Design, BMW Design Works USA. On its exterior, anodized aluminum, and steel is used for its streamlined design. While hidden magnets hold the whole case together, inside the box lies a Z87 Mini ITX motherboard for advanced probability and space efficiency. MA is sold as a bare-bone system, so that gamers have the freedom of choosing their own components. The functionality of this gaming beast including a command with G-Sensor, 2T2R 802.11 AC, Wi-Fi module and Bluetooth version 4.0, provides up to 867 megabytes per second, blistering fast wireless internet connections, and the Creative Sound Core 3D 7.1 CHHD audio, popcorn professors for unbelievably realistic audio effects. Moreover, ASRock is giving away free Xplit 3-month premium licenses that value $24.95 with M8. Take full control of your system, ACOM N. The ACOM N in front of the case in the combination of an OLED display and a control bottom that serves for six main functions. First of all, it can be used to toggle on or off the system power and the lights in the case and it can also be used to crank up the volume. The OLED monitor also shows plenty critical information, such as the CPU frequency, LAN usage, or the current time and date. Another useful feature that it provides for users is to switch between three modes, Standard, Performance, or Power Saver. Xtrox M8 is powered by Intel's next-generation CPUs that can be upgraded has swappable DDR3 DIMM and supports any standard PCIe graphics card. There are also six SATA 3 ports lined up on the Mini ITX motherboard that back to differ. Hi guys, I'll be teaching you how to install your MA Series gaming PC. First, we will need to remove the side panels. Take out your key in the package and unlock the system key lock on the top cover just like that. Then remove the side panels on both sides. From here, we'll need to remove the top cover. Take out your screwdriver and remove the screws that secure the top right bracket here to the top cover. Then draw out the mounting bracket on the top right from the chassis. Slide the top cover toward the front of the system and lift the cover up. Then you'll see the 4-pin top fan connector. Disconnect it, then you're done. Let's move on to the next step. First, carefully remove the VGA car holder. Then remove the riser card retention bracket. Be careful, don't break it. Now let's install the hard drive one. Remove the drive tray assembly and carefully take the assembly apart. Now install a 3.5 inch hard disk drive to the bottom tray. Then well secure it to the chassis and connect the power and SATA data cables. Then you're done with the installation for hard drive one. Now let's install the CPU. To install the CPU, we will need to take out the CPU car holder. Open up the car holder. Then insert the CPU. Make sure you have inserted the CPU properly. Placing the CPU car holder back to its socket and secure it. Next, install the SODIMM. First, push down on the tabs. Then take your memory card and push it down into the memory sink to install. Then, we'll install the CPU cooler. First, apply some amount of thermal grease onto the CPU car holder. Then, secure the vent on top of the CPU. There is an extra space behind the power supply for an additional 2.5 inch SSD. And the installation is complete. Now, let's replace the riser card. Take your riser card and place it back to the chassis. Moving on to graphics card, install the graphics card. Engage the VGA car holder with the two vertical sliding tracks while we slide it back into the chassis. Make sure the VGA car holder is well installed and the graphics car is seated correctly. Finally, place back the side panels and the top cover and lock the system key lock. Then you're done! Your MA Siri Gaming PC is now ready to go!